Welcome everybody to the Midnight Express. Just kidding, it's only nine o'clock. It's the nine o'clock express. I don't even know if you guys can see me, but we're in the back of Taylor's truck. You guys think you can see me? I don't think you can. I'll catch up with you guys when we get down there. So, I figured I'll just go ahead and film this. I got some stuff I wanted to do to the OA tonight and Taylor had an adventure and ruined a whole pack of Bartle Skeet in the back of her truck. So she's coming down here, forcing her to do it tonight because soda got everywhere in the back of her truck. So I gotta get the pressure washer out for her. But I lost, I left the shop keys in my other truck. So I gotta wait for her to get out, give me her keys. So yeah. that's good. Okay, so by the grace of God, all three cases of Mountain Dew are okay. They feel okay. But the one random case of Dr. Pepper I got, I don't know if, or I'll get the freaking light out so you guys can see. Look what Taylor did to the back of her truck. It like freshened up the rhino line. This is just, look at that, all stick all over the back of her window. Oh, did you, did you hurt the, oh my goodness. What do you have to say for yourself, hot rod? The railroad caught me. Oh, she's jumping the tracks. Oh, hey. Oh, look at I that. I think you may got one. Oh, I don't know. That's like a grenade with a pin that's been out of it for 20 minutes. We don't know about it. She's going to go ahead and clean her mess up. There's my tie downs. What the heck? They're a little sticky now. You wash those off too. You wash and then I'm going to work on this. All right, officially welcome. So, where to begin? I got a couple goodies I wanna to add to the 08 tonight, and I'll go into more detail on that, but I have a little excavator back there. I think I could fit this whole, that whole setup inside the shop, but I'm working one mile down the road tomorrow. Need the little X, but then I gotta come back here, grab the big trailer and the 12. The 12 will not fit width-wise on that trailer, and I think it would overload that trailer as well. But I got a couple things, couple ideas we're gonna test out before I put the new tunes on the truck. I think the new tunes should be official tomorrow. I can uh, throw those on there. Hopefully all goes to plan, but I wanted to show one thing because a lot of questions I've had on this before. So this is obviously some BD uh, merchandise-ish. This is what uh, I had originally had set up for my exhaust brake. What the heck is that? I don't know what that part was. But I had this for my exhaust brake. It's just a momentary switch that ties into your factory exhaust brake switch on the dash. So I could put this on my stick shift. But what I did is, it didn't really dawn on me at the time, but this little button's pretty nice. That way you don't have to uh, be hunting and pecking all the time for this button. Now on automatic, yeah, I just leave that exhaust brake on all the time. But on my 04, I have one of these, and this was on sale on Craigslist. It was slightly used or something, so I got like half price. So I figured, what the heck? Go ahead and use it. But every time I want to use it, this is a momentary switch, meaning you push it and let it go. It was on and off, and so that just sends a signal just by the momentary. But this one here, when you flick it on, that's on. But momentary needs to go back off. So every time I use it, I got to freaking go back and bob and weave. It's getting kind of annoying, so I'm going to swap that out back to my old one. This is ridiculous. I think I paid more for the knowledge of what wires they'll go to than the actual switch, because this is a simple thing. This was 65 bucks. I can't believe, that, or 63. I don't, it was on eBay. I don't know if they sell them on there anymore. But I'm gonna hook that thing back up, so I'll show you guys that. And then I had an idea uh, off of the crank sensor for, dang it, I forgot to open the hood. The crank sensor itself, pack brake runs off that. That's when it knows to shut itself down once the RPMs get low. Honestly, I'd rather the only shutoff be pushing in the throttle. As soon as you hit the throttle, then it would shut your pack brakes off. Now I do have, ignore the mess, I haven't got to that yet. I have no time. I have two computers. One is for my pack brake exhaust brake and the other one is for the load leash. 
So how that works is it ties into your injector wiring harness right there so it knows when you're hitting the throttle and it kills it. And then your cam or crank position sensor down below, it uh, splices into that. Well, not splices, but butt connectors in. I'll show you guys that. But I'm thinking maybe I'm getting interference for my BGT brake that's on there now because I went back to it. Thinking maybe that could be an issue. So we're gonna find out before we put new tunes because if I put new tunes on, makes no difference, yada yada. More experiments, but I'm gonna pop the dash apart and show you guys quickly how this thing works because I had a lot of questions on which one to tie into. So if you guys are running a third gen truck, uh, this will be, you know, helpful to you guys. But this, how you get this thing apart, you get your stuff out of the way. Take my, my stripper money. You just stick your hand over here and then you pop this thing off. Come on, baby. That's all it takes to get this sucker off of there. So I do have a bunch more wires going back here. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. So you guys can excuse my French in here. I'll go ahead and get you a light set up so you can actually tell what the heck is going on. So down here, is your factory exhaust brake plug-in right here okay now they got this out this is the plug-in that goes straight to your factory exhaust brake again this just does the function of your exhaust brake momentary switch like normal so the first one you want to hook up to is straight purple tie into that put one of these connectors then you can put your blade straight into that and the next one would be uh, brown with an orange stripe and then you just hook these guys straight into that easy peasy and it works perfect uh, no problem I just I'm always indecisive I'm switching stuff around so I'm gonna hook that up show you guys that and then we'll go on try a couple other things and then, then get some other stuff okay voila there we go Oh, da ding! I'll show you guys its function. A little switch got busted, but momentary click, exhaust brake light comes on. So it'd be the same as hitting that button up there, but it's just with a stick shift, letting off the throttle all the time. It's never really continuous, I guess. Uh, and I don't really like leaving the exhaust brake on in this truck all the time uh, Because the exhaust brake would be flickering on and off all the time and I don't really care for that uh, In my new truck. Yeah, I could just leave it on no big deal But this makes it so much easier because I can keep my hand on the shifter all the time Hit the button Do its thing Bada bing so chore number one taken off the list. Let's go on to the next thing Secondary radiator in case you guys missed that video from back in the day BD intercooler aftermarket all aluminum radiator There's a pack brake air compressor Let's see well while we're talking about all this Then there's the pack brake air tank right there again the pack brake air compressor and all that stuff is just mainly for feeling up uh, tires and stuff right now and blowing out machines but this is what we're after right here. Okay, so I gotta remember which one's what. So I'm gonna say the older one is the uh, load leash, but that back underneath there is your crank position sensor. It's right on the front here. Harmonic balancer reads off of that. And older ones were a little bit different. And uh, those little guys are plugged into nothing. I don't know what happened there, uh, pothole stuff. So let's go ahead and take this one out of the mix. So much crap in my eyes. Where is it even coming from? Oh God. Okay. Uh, that right there is why I don't like a full-time mechanic on anybody else's stuff. 
so much garbage in the eyes on a daily basis. And this truck is pretty damn clean underneath compared to a lot of rigs. That was a big mistake not wearing some safety glasses crawling underneath there. Didn't think it was gonna be that big of a deal, but the one spot that had a little bit of dirt gathering from whatever moisture, that's uh, always where you're trying to party. But we're gonna see if that does anything tomorrow. But I wanted to, for one, I had to bring the truck down here because I've been carting this thing around for a while, so this is something for the 080. Uh, yeah, fragile. Finally got a new windshield. If you guys are a little bit older to the channel, uh, the Prime Tech uh, took out the windshield to the 080. So I got a $20 piece of Plexi in there. And it is, it is very well scratched now and it's hard to see out of. And for some reason, Plexi or Poly or whatever that crap is I got, I can't remember right now. But that stuff, it just, it really absorbs just like dust. Just gets sucked to it. Just like this big old freaking bug. What the hell is that? So that's gonna be nice. I'll have my windshield wiper back because that's the main thing. And what else I wanna talk about? Oh, the biggest pain. I told you I guys, I'll just tell you guys what's going on behind the scenes rather than other people that like to, oh, we're not gonna tell you anything until we coax you into the video. Dream truck is on the radar right now. It's in the department of that except for one year newer and i cannot believe how much like i had to talk myself into okay just buy it so i texted the cat and i had to text him like three times before he wrote back because the, the ad was still up i figured what the heck is still on there is still for sale such a big hassle end up the truck the price for the truck clean as it may be 12 valve as it may be might have a little bit of issue with back taxes so we'll perks of property in nevada so i'll just move that sucker to out there but i cannot believe how difficult it is to get to hold somebody that is trying to sell something on craigslist you put something for sale on craigslist you answer the phone when someone calls asking about it it's that simple and for those of you guys that don't put a phone number you just put email on the craigslist that's red flag that means I don't really want to buy that stuff, but unless it's, I don't know. I just, I sent it, the guys was called tomorrow, so we'll have information on that tomorrow. But that may stay gray, because red might hit the building before that gets anywhere, and I, I just need to get somewhere on it. And then I wanted to mention something else, something else. Comment below, remind me to do the 10,000 giveaway. 10,000 subscriber giveaway. I said I'd do that a long time ago. You guys made a lot of awesome comments on that video. And I never gave anything away yet. And I have a bunch of stuff I want to give away. Merchandise. I'm going to throw in some other goodies. Uh, I have quite a bit of extra stuff. Little things like this. Third gen column. Uh, two gauge pillar thing. It's for this truck. But I got the uh, the center console. Or the center. What do you call it? You know what I'm talking about. I'll show you real quick. I opted out of getting the one up here. So the truck didn't look so not stock. This thing. I kind of hit it back. But I got this one here, so my gauges are tucked away down underneath there. Which is kind of nice for a third gen, but a fourth gen, that would suck to have those there. So, a 25k giveaway. That thing will be in it if you guys are third gen stuff. I'll have a couple different options. Got third gen mirrors. And I know I was talking about... Comment below. Remind me to do the video on that. Can't stress that enough. For some reason, I keep slipping on it. And I, it's a video I need to really hunker down on and do a good edit for you guys because I really, I really appreciate you guys. And the positivity, I haven't spoken to the positivity in a while because you guys have been killing it. Always killing it with the positivity. Every once in a while we get one or two jokers. Uh, I've been kind of letting them, you know, say a couple things. Maybe they'll balance out trying to earn their, you know, views, subs, whatever. Because I don't want to run anybody off. But sooner or later I just hit the block on them but for those of you guys that are OG new whatever that leave positive comments thank you but let, remind me about the 10k giveaway because uh, 
I'm always forgetting it. So underneath I was showing I did have the pack brake for the exhaust brake. Everything is still there except for the exhaust brake uh, butterfly valve. And people were telling me I should have went with a uh, fixed turbo. This is what I had on it. I had essentially a 5.9 third gen style swap. The HE 351, a standard Turbski. Uh, but 67 on both ends. This thing is a whistle pig. I will tell you what. So when I say I've spent a couple bucks, if you guys aren't familiar uh, with some of the older stuff. And then I have the third gen uh, T3 Steed Speed in there. I would just as soon go ahead and throw all this back on the truck if that BGT does not cooperate. But I have the new CTT, the tunes are gonna be coming uh, tomorrow. I have the V2, if I could remember how to speak right now, apologies. The V2 is in the house right now, but uh, I need the tunes. V2 is a little bit different than Auto Cal. Auto Cal, when I got mine, it showed up, had tunes already in it, and it's a lot simpler. Uh, you got to do VIN license and goofy stuff because V2 has got a lot more capabilities. So I don't have the new tunes, but I do have backup tunes. I left my auto cal tunes on there from what's the name. But what I was saying, why I don't just swap everything back because I was really close to doing that because I'm just, I'm fed up with the VGT all over again. It is unreal, but the VGT exhaust brake does work great. But all this stuff, I have another truck but I gotta put those on it too. So those are all on the back burner with a million projects, this and that going on. Uh, work is just every day. I'm really, I'm taking the extra effort to take the weekends off. Uh, I know dad doesn't like me doing that because it's, it's really nice, I'm not gonna lie. Working seven days a week, pocketbook stays very plenished because for one, you're working triple full time. And two, you don't have time to spend any money. But if you go down to freaking global or some just Amazon Prime in general, that eats up the scratch. But I'm trying to come down here, work on the new house, get the shop. I mean, look at the shop. I got, well, that's leftover project, but the 12 valve grandma's truck sitting there. I paid my bike off the other day because I was fed up with making that payment. So that thing's taken care of. No more having to worry about that monthly payment. Freeing some scratch up and just trying to make some free time. And today it was a complete sham of a waste. This whole weekend, I didn't seem like I got nothing done, but I did get dad a new puppy. And then I, I tried to work on a weed eater more than I actually got to run it today. So it just burned in the daylight on the weekends, trying to catch up on sleep. I'll be honest with you guys, making these videos, I'm not complaining, don't, don't get me long, wrong. I'm not complaining, but <laughs> knocking these videos out because look at the time right now, it's 10:12. I know I'm gonna go knock this video out for you guys. It's gonna make Taylor mad, but she's a freaking champ about allowing me to do all this stuff, come down here, talk to the camera. And uh, I need to send this back to Pure Diesel. They're gonna run a test on this thing. So I'm gonna, this is just kind of a whole uh, update video, I guess. I do a lot of update videos. Just some of the jobs we're working lately are just too terrible to really film. So I'll try to get the filming videos in there, or work videos, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I'm getting like 25 hours of sleep a week. It's freaking, it's worth it, but it's getting brutal. But <sighs> we're gonna end it there, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the little two bits of everything I did tonight and just kind of update on this and that. The exhaust brake on the third gen stick shift trucks, if you relocate it to that position, I'm telling you now, your life will be a lot comfier i don't it's just those little things just it makes life a lot better uh a lot easier on you and a lot safer for the most part driving down the road so go ahead comment below remind me of the 10k giveaway i will knock that probably tomorrow's video after you guys see this one and then comment what you guys would like to see happen for the 25k giveaway uh we're, we're knocking on the door of 17k right now 25 is a little bit off, but we have another couple good hitter videos. We should be there in no time. So, comment below. Ideas for a giveaway. Nothing too extreme, but giving truck parts away, giving you know hats and jackets and stuff away. All fun and games. But maybe there's something else you guys would like to see for that particular video for the giveaway, and or what kind of stuff you would you know like to see me give away. 
memorabilia, something off the truck, old part, new part, something I haven't used, and yeah, yada yada. Anyway, time to end, guys. 10.15. Talk Hoochie reads it. Hit them buttons, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. We will see you on the next one. Later.